All right, guys, I am back and I'm ready to get this trailer finished so I can move on from it. Last couple things I have to do are replace the bow roller, winch, and trailer jack in the front, and then redo the bunks. My biggest hurdle for today is how to get the boat off the trailer enough to work on the bunks. I think what I'm gonna do is jack up the transom, the floor jack, that should let me balance it up off the ground to get the boards out, re-carpet them, get them reinstalled, and then lay the boat back down. Hardware still looks to be good, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna go do the front now. Should be able to just come out. Okay, we got both brackets. All right, so these boards are gonna be 64 inches. We got the two long bunks cut. Go ahead and measure out these side bunks and see if we can get those cut too. Get this all done together. Is that gonna be big enough? No, it's not. That would've been nice. 42 inches. All right, well, the label's fallen off at this point, but this is just some standard Thompson's water seal. It's the clear formula. Uh, there's no copper or anything that can react with aluminum in this. So this is just gonna give this a basic waterproofing to help these last as long as they can. I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little while. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to pull off these side bunks and have those off and ready. Last thing I need to do is go find some new bolts to put these all back on. I'll make a trip to the hardware store while this is all drying. That way when I get back, it should be ready to go and we'll get to carpeting. All right, so I got all the new hardware. I think these lag bolts were about as much as the carpet. I went with stainless steel this time because you can see what happened last time. This is probably galvanized. So hopefully these will hold up a little longer and a little better. Before I put the brackets back on, I just wanted to clean up the brackets some. Uh, so far, I hit this one with a wire wheel. I'm gonna hit it with some acetone now and then some black enamel just to protect the metal from rusting. All right, so the brackets cleaned up with acetone, I'm gonna hit it with some spray enamel. Sorry about the fan, if you guys can hear that, but it's really hot out here, so I gotta get some airflow. Uh, once you have your lumber cut and sealed, you wanna get your tools together for the carpet wrapping. Make sure that the staples you get are gonna be stainless steel. You don't want them to rust out and all your uh, carpet to fall right off. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is cut down some carpet to size. This needs to be 11 inches wide. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down, then we can start wrapping the wood. All right, so now what we're gonna do is center the wood on the piece of carpet here. We're gonna wrap each side over staple it down the middle, and then work on our corners. You can join your seam either on the back of it or on the top or bottom. All right, guys, well, I didn't know if I was gonna make it tonight. It's about 1.30 in the morning, but I got through all the bunks. I'm really happy with how they came out. 
you know, my first couple corners were a little rough. I really got into the groove for the side bunks, got some really nice corners towards the end. This is all gonna look really good once it gets on the trailer. Center between the two supports, you know, knock some bolts in it and then get measurements and then just make sure the other side matches. So same thing, just wanna center it. Take a look, see how it looks before I put the rest of the bolts in. I think that looks good. If I really wanted to, I could come back here and clean up this seam with the razor blade. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other one on and then we can start work on the bottom bunk. So just because it was bothering me, I went and cleaned up the seam on the other one and it looks so much better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for this one too. All right, I just trimmed up the seam on that side and I think it looks pretty good. So basically what I'm gonna do is measure the distance from the front bracket to the back of the transom, give it about a two inch lip, and then that'll be where the first bracket mounts to. We're gonna be about six inches. That's even a bit much, I'm gonna do five inches. All right, so to put those measurements into context, we need to come in five inches and that's where the flat side of the bracket needs to be. That way when it's on the trailer and bolts into that front bracket, that's how much overhang we're gonna have. Anything over five inches on the inset will just have it hanging off the back more, um, which is good for the transom, but then you're also losing stability on the front of the boat too. So I'm really wanting to keep it just about five inches. That gives about an inch overhang so the transom is fully supported. All right, so I was able to just lay this on the top of the brackets uh, and it's sitting exactly where I wanted it to. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see under here, but I need to get this bracket installed on the trailer bracket. The two screws put into the board now that this is in place on the front where I want it. Everything is positioned where I want. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down, you know, see how it sits on the bunk, make sure everything looks good. And then if so, jack up the other side and replace the other bunk. Nice, that sits on there great. I went to lift up to see if I could uh, access the bolt. It's not even attached to the bracket anymore. And this is just like, Spongy. So yeah, definitely a long time coming on this one. Man, this side was noticeably more difficult to get this, uh, the bunk brackets unbolted, but we did it. All right, so I got those old brackets cleaned up and hit with the enamel. This is just about dry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and start reinstalling the last bunk. Okay, so all of the brackets have been loosened on the bunks. If my idea goes to plan, when I lower the boat, the bunk should slightly curve in towards the angle of the bottom of the hull. I can go through and tighten everything up and it'll be exactly the way it needs to be. So what I'm hoping to see is the two bunks kind of curve in a little bit as that's the angle of the boat, of the hull. It's mainly a flat bottom, but there is a slight V to it. So let's see what happens. So just to assist in this, I'm gonna ratchet down the transom straps. That'll pull it down so we definitely get it in the right position. You know, this is matching the angle of the hole now. This is tightened down real strong. So this is where everything wants to sit happily. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down these brackets and we should be good to go. All right guys, well there we have it. All of the bunks on the trailer have been replaced. New side bunks are on, the bottom bunks are on. Everything is oriented to the angles of the hull. We're looking really good. All right, guys. Well, if you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to follow along with the John Boat build, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any ideas or comments about the trailer build or the John Boat build, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm all ears. I love getting ideas from you guys and seeing how I can incorporate them. All right. Thanks for watching.